Yo, what is going on, you cannibal character? And today we're playing some games with Pika Rob. Now, this isn't just uh, any Pika Rob. This is a Joao Pedros. I hope I'm saying that first name right. Correct me in the comment section down below. Uh, they're Pika Rob list that they used to actually get top eight in the GG Tour 3K tournament that went on over the weekend. Huge tournament over the weekend. One of the biggest we've had in these online tournaments. Um, they got top eight in it. I think they lost the mirror match overall um, in the top eight, but uh, super cool list. Um, and I'm a huge fan of the builds that Joao comes up with. Um, I think one of the top deck builders, innovators in the game right now, for sure. Um, so this is their Picaram build that they played, and it's kind of taking the best of both worlds of the top two ways to play Picaram right now, which is the straightforward, consistent build with the four Bolton that there is four Bolton in here. And then the other the other side of it is the energy disruption that most people have been playing is the, the crushing hammer. So a lot of people are going with like two Bolton and crushing hammers. Joao's coming in here with the four Bolton, four crushing hammer, and even two yell grunt on top of those crushing hammer for more energy disruption, which is super cool to see. I'm super interested to, uh, super interested with how the list feels and how it flows uh, to get some games with it. Now there were some sacrifices that had to be made to fit all of this stuff. There's no swells. So that's going to hurt up against the uh, the hearth decks, the welder decks. Uh, only one Mewtwo, uh, only one Raichu Raichu. Two Raichu Raichu has felt really good recently, in my opinion, because prizing it, my Raichu Raichu is such a big part of most of your game plans and most of the top matchups right now. So prizing it really, really hurts. Um, now, you only ever need one, especially with the possibility to use Raichu Raichu's attacks through Mewtwo. So you can potentially have pretty much access to two Raichu Raichus. But if it is prized, you just never get access to it, which can really hurt uh, and can pretty much lose you games. But uh, it is only one card and you don't need it all the time but yeah that's there's so there's some sacrifices being made in the in the list overall only one me too like i said one right you no big charms no swells um but it has all the really important pieces there you know there's the, the consistency from the ball to get that turn one electrify uh super important to get the pika rom deck flowing and then the energy disruption seemingly so good right now in the pika rom deck it fits so well into the deck it has the space for it um and it's so powerful in the current format so um Yep, let's get some games with it. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe and like the video, or subscribe to the channel, like the video, and then go get yourself a, a glass of water because you're looking uh, looking a little bit dehydrated. All right, we're getting into our first game here. We're going to go second, though. We like going second with the sec, turn one electrify. A lot of decks like going second round, so um, it's a big advantage for us to choose to go second and uh, do that. Opened the Bolton. We do play four of those, so that is great to see. Uh, we're up against a rock rough though. Which means it probably is Dragapult. I think we're probably up against Dragapult here. Um, really, the only deck that plays Lycanroc right now is the Dragapult Lycanroc build. Um, so I'd, that's what I would assume is what we're up against here. They got the Rock Rough start and probably go grab themselves Crobat, Dedede, or that Dragapult. Uh, yep, there's the Dragapult. So this matchup is fine. It's not like a bad matchup or anything, especially with all the energy denial we play in our deck. Uh, we can really like slow them down from ever like even attacking with the dragapult to be honest we can actually like, make it so they just like never attack um as long as we can find our yell grunts so we got a crushing hammer here that is a heads got rid of that i almost don't want to lose this hand i really wish i had top decked like a peek around or something to uh electrify to but i think we're gonna have to go just attach and then research i don't really want to put the Dene in play to be honest so i'm just gonna go with the research here yeah, I don't, if I don't have to put the Dene in play, I don't, I don't really want to, so. Um, stamps, okay. I might give up the stamp to keep the Bolton, but the Bolton's not really necessary either. But the stamp's not going to be that great either, so I could quick ball away the, the stamp so I can then bench this Bolton. Um, I haven't go like that because it's like so we're so far from, away from being able to use that Bolton. And then we don't want to use Mewtwo in this match. I'm going to grab that Pikaram and then just go ahead and electrify. And uh, this hand is actually really really good we got a crushing hammer but more importantly than that we got the yell grunts so uh we can guaranteed remove that energy that our opponent would put into play here um on this turn there's a research there also choosing to not put the in play um don't really want those easy prize cards kind of sticking around here comes the crushing hammers for my opponent there's a tails for them um so not as fortunate as we were we did have two in the hand that we didn't get to use our second one attach in the pass i would love another yell grunt is actually super good i think we might just go the bolt storm here i would i'm fine with bolt storm here yell grunt and i don't really feel the need to use uh crobat here I, like we got our energy attachment for the turn we played our supporter using crobat here is just kind of unnecessary it would just like eat up right, there's another crushing hammer we've gotten all of our energy disruption cards so quickly here uh four crushing hammer two yell grunt uh <laughs> it's all in the discard pile or in the hand so we are chilling uh, and we haven't played a we didn't play draw support last turn so this might discourage our opponent from playing something like a marnie and if they were to marnie guys it'd be unfortunate for us because it would all go to the bottom of the deck 
which is where we don't want it. We want this all uh, in our hand or more access to it faster. Yeah, so this getting Marnie would actually be pretty annoying, to be honest. And there's that Marnie. All right, our crushing hammers leave, our yell grunt leaves. We do still have that Eldegoss, which we could use to recover this yell grunt and use that for the turn. Um, and then keep our opponent away from that max phantom that much longer, which would be uh, pretty good. So that's what we're gonna, we're gonna go for here. We'll see what our opponent is able to even put together here. We've, ha we've slowed them down a ton so far in these opening turns. So crushing hammer heads into the yell grunt excuse me um really putting a hurt on them they might be able to get a shred for 60 here um if not they might have to settle for a bite but a bite would be terrible uh because it's just not very much damage and here we actually see them run away into a different dragapult um makes sense to me that's just speed lightning no energy disruption there i almost want a dead change here to try and find eldegoss to yell grunt that energy um, if not, full books would be fine. Could actually knock this thing out if we get Coco. Yeah, I think I am going to go like that. I don't. I really want to yell grunt that energy. And it feels like it is worth it. Uh, as long as the Eldegoss is in the deck. There it is. Um, we could have actually... Oops, that was actually a misplay. I could have actually gotten Coco. And then boss KO'd this. So that would have been better. Not going to lie. That would have been better. Um, I was just kind of honed in on this play that when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, I got to go for it. Um, and it's not bad. We're not in a bad spot because of this or anything, but it could have been better. And hey, look, my opponent concedes anyways. But yeah, I should have should have gone for Coco Prism, popped Coco, and then boss KO'd with Bolton. Because I think we would have had enough energy there. We'd have two on the active, three on the bench, five, six, seven, yeah, 220. So that would have got the knockout. So in that similar situation, use the boss, not the, <laughs> not the yell grunt. All right, getting into another one, we did uh, lose the coin flip, but our opponent chose to go first, so that kind of helps us out a little bit. We're still going to be looking for that turn one. Electrify. Ooh, the Crobat starts. Um, not great. No out to Bolton in the hand either, and a lot of energy in our hand. So this is a little bit awkward, unless we top deck a Bolton, of course. Snorlax from my opponent here, and there's a Trap Inch. Oh, no. All right, we're up against the Flygon deck. This matchup is usually pretty rough, um, especially with Outswell in our deck. Um, it's going to get a little bit awkward, I think, for sure. I've never played this matchup, uh, on the Pikaram, the, uh, the Pikaram side, but I know Swell can be a little bit annoying for on the Flygon side, because I played quite a bit of the Primal Flygon deck, and yeah, the, uh, Chaotic Swells to stop the Dojos from getting, allowing the Flygon to get a one-shot on a Mew and Mewtwo is a pretty big deal. Ooh, I, I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this at all. It's a lot of energy to lose. I don't think I want to lose this energy here. I think we're going to go like this. And I'm attached to speed lighting to the Pikaram. We're going to see what we draw. Ooh, not my second reset stamp. That's not good. Um, Maybe they'll Marnie us. So I'm going to go ahead and throw down an Air Bloom. But pass. And uh, probably going to have to look for that Coco Prism next turn, which is fine. Try and get off a full blitz. Go from there. Find our Mewtwo is going to be a really big deal as well. Um, could just go into an Electrify next turn as well, but I think trying to get that. There we go. Amarni saves our reset stamps. That's great. Yeah, so sometimes you just need a chill. Like, we could have dead a change there and look for more stuff, but it's not going to get us... Ooh, this hand's not that good either, though. It's not going to get us that much further into what we want to do. Um, we're once again in kind of a stuck situation. Maybe we'll top deck a Quick Ball or a Coco. There's a research. That works great. Um, I do kind of want a full blitz here and kind of put the pressure on. Especially now that they have put a... They want to get that cool. Now that they put the big charm here, they can't put a karate belt there anymore. Um, so they're maybe a little bit aggressive with that. Uh, in my opinion, that, that seems a little bit aggressive. Because, yeah, now they can't put a karate belt there, so they can't attack next turn. I don't, maybe they don't play karate belts if they do play the big charms, though. Got a Mewtwo as well, which is great because it's not weak to fighting. And we got this full blitz. Hit this uh, Snorlax. Set up our Mewtwo. And, yeah. Looking good. I could have thrown it all on my active Pikaram there and be like, all right, I'm going to tag Bolt your Vibrava next turn. But if they just get their Mew down, which they probably play because it's so important, just stop stuff like the tag Bolt and the Cramorant from sniping your Vibravas. That, um, I don't think it's worth it overall. I could be wrong and they could not play it, but I would bet that they play it. I think we want to go in with Bolt in here so we can set up that good old stamp to one scenario as soon as possible. And then also Reshu Reshu is a really good attacker in this matchup. Um, so we need to get that into play or at least uh, get it into the discard pile so Mew and Mewtwo can utilize it. So we want to get a switch here. We want to find a switch here. 
he got him to the bench, get Bolton attacking. Or we could try and leave Bolton on the bench and try and get it big enough that it would take one hit KOs. We could full blitz to a new Bolton here. I don't think we're ever gonna get enough energy in play where Bolton's gonna be one hit KOing a fly. Flygons are especially with double stone energy. That's pretty big. We could just full blitz KO this though. I don't hate that idea. Get more energy into play. I can just shuffle these to the bottom right now. Go for a full blitz. We'll see what we draw. There's the right two. Here's a new bolt and we could full blitz too. We could maybe even set up for a tag bolt though here. I think I have enough in the deck. Full blitz, knockout. There should be three in here. No, it's two. But we can still get to a tag bolt. Get one of these speeds on our Mewtwo. Um, so I'm fine with this. Have the option of the tag bolt this turn now, which is super good. Um, right two, right two's here. Not going to be attacking with that. We have three speed lightning left, so that'll get us to attack bolt. It'll get us allow us to attack with the Boltoned. Got some options for sure. We could go with like attack with Bolton this turn into tag bolts on the following turn. I kind of like that. Yeah, if we could just hit with Bolton really hard here and then tag bolt on the following turn. And right, we'll see what they do. They also have to do something this turn. There's a Mount Lana and a Guzma and Hala. There's the third energy for the Vibrava. There's a March. They don't have the flag on quite yet. And they could definitely whiff it here off this five. Um, and they could just hard retreat to the, the Stone Axe, but then we could Tag Bolt KO this Vibrava. So that would be pretty sick. Oh, and we, we haven't even found a Crushing Hammer. Crushing Hammers are so good in this matchup. We finally find one. I wasn't even thinking about that. Crushing Hammers are insanely good in this matchup at delaying our opponent from setting up Flygons. Um, we just finally found our first one here. <laughs> Desert Hurricane, goodbye, Peek around. This is where two um, Mewtwo would be really, really good, to be honest. I could. I didn't want to bench the Raichu because then there would be like a boss away from winning. But we want to try and get the Raichu into the discard pile. Um, let's see, what we do. It's just a Dene. I'm gonna go ahead and Dene change here because I would definitely be fine with using a Marnie this turn. They've got a bigger hand than I would like them to have. So another Crushing Hammer. Another Tails. Um, all right, hold up. Uh, attach to the Bolton. Another Crushing Hammer. Another, oh, so three tails. <laughs> I, I, we don't have any options here. I could, I can yell ground, but I won't do, oh no, yell ground does work against them now. Oh, crushing hammer heads there would have been insane then, because then we could have also yell grunted. But stopping them from setting up uh, another flygon too quickly is also pretty good here, so. It would have been great though, if we got crushing hammer heads there and then yell grunt, they can't actually attack next turn. So that would have been an insane uh, couple cards to pull off there. Unfortunately, we, uh, Came, came up extremely short on the, the Crushing Hammers. Uh, Caitlyn and Cynthia, they did have a Mal and Lana in the hand, I believe, because we weren't able to get any hand disruption this last turn. So, for some reason, I was thinking I couldn't yell grunt them, but the, the ability Obnoxious Warring is on the Vibrava, not on the Flygon. So, nothing was stopping us from uh, yeah, punching that thing. Uh, we got some good options in the hand, though. Double boss. Yeah, Crushing Hammer Heads. I can't get over how good a Crushing Hammer Heads would have been there. <laughs> it would have been so good. Um, okay, another energy. So they're going to get the knockout here. They'll go down to one prize card, uh, which is like, we have two stamp left. That's like not bad for us. I don't want to lose both of these boss though, is the thing. So I might like, let's see what my top deck is. Maybe it's like a Marnie or something. Um, man, I don't, I don't like this. I definitely want to save my tag bolt, but I also want to hand disrupt them this turn. Yelgrunt could be really good to combo with our last boss. Maybe I give up my Dedenne here, but I don't want to do that either. There's no good quick, like the Yelgrunt's still good. I, I want my bosses as well. I think I'm going to give up the Dedenne here. It, it doesn't feel great. I wish I just had a Marnie in my hand, but I'm going to Goss for Marnie here. Um, Yeah, that big of a hand. Uh, maybe it's not as many options as next turn as I think. Maybe I could have just waited a turn and just drawn some prize cards and then gone from there. But... um. I like the idea of it. I didn't like the idea of giving him, leaving him with that big of a hand. Um, they definitely have a Snorlax usage left. We could stamp to one here and then research next turn, I guess. I think I'd rather let them Snorlax than stamp to one research instead. Um, so full blitz should be the knockout here. All right. I was like, I don't want to. I don't think I'm miscounting here. Yeah. Uh, it was close. Oh, it was exact. It was exact. Actually. Oh man. All right. Yeah. But it was the knockout. Okay. So we have Tag Bolt set up, and they do not have... Oh, maybe I should have been more aggressive here, actually. Maybe I should have stamped here, actually. Because Tag Bolt would win me the game. So if they're able to get down their Mew now... If they play the Mew, I guess. I don't even know if they play the Mew. 
Um, man, I think I could have played this a little bit more. I could have even tag bolted. I could have held my last hand and just tag bolted because I had a boss in my last hand. Well, we have tag ball anyways now. Yeah, I didn't realize how close we were to winning the game. I didn't even realize how many prizes we had drawn, but that's that's game. Tag bolt. Yo, the Vibrava. up. The ability stops it from being affected by supporter cards, but not uh, damage <laughs> if it's on the bench. So we win the game here. All right. That went a little bit smoother than I thought. Yeah, no Mew for my opponent. Made it pretty easy at the end there. And that's going to do it for these games with this uh, Pikaron build. Um, I don't know. In those two games, felt pretty good. Uh, having kind of the, the max consistency around the Boltons felt, always feels nice. Uh, but still having Crushing Hammers in the build also feels really nice. Maybe Swells and, you know, the extra Mewtwo's and stuff just aren't worth, uh, worth the spaces. Uh, these are just more valuable cards in general. So cool build again, once again, from Joao. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the games. See you tomorrow.